Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to solve this one step equation. So the one step equation says 6 plus a number equals 2. And a lot of times we can just probably do this in our head and say, alright, what plus 6 equals... But I really want you guys to get used to using your inverse operations. So what we want to do to solve for n is what we need to do is determine what's happening to the n to get it by itself. Because we need to find the value of n so it's isolated by itself. So to do that, I need to determine what's happening to the n. And it might be a little bit hard for how this problem is currently written. Because it says 6 plus n equals 2. So what is happening to the n? Because it seems like I'm adding n to the 6. So what we can do to kind of help us out with this is we can use the commutative property of addition and rewrite this problem as n plus 6 equals 2. Now the reason I can do this is simple. 3 plus 4 we know is equal to 7, as well as 4 plus 3 equals to 7. Right? So in addition, order does not matter. So I can rewrite these pro I can rewrite this expression so maybe it might make a little more sense. Therefore, now as I read it, n plus 6 equals 2. Therefore, it's now I think it's a little more obvious for us to understand that we're adding 6 to our n. So now to undo that, to undo addition of 6, we're going to have to subtract. Now, what we're going to have to do is you subtract on both sides of the equation because an equation is a statement of equality, meaning the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. So whatever operation we apply to the left side, we have to apply to the right side. Therefore, 6 minus 6 is going to give us 0. 2 minus 6 is going to equal negative 4. Therefore, I have n equals, because n plus 0 is n, Therefore, n equals negative 4. Now, just to double check to make sure my answer is correct, I can always plug in the value of n back into the original equation. So I have 6 plus negative 4 equals 2. I can eliminate my parentheses and just rewrite this as 6 minus 4 equals 2, where therefore 2 equals 2. Ensuring that I solve the problem correctly, I do know that when n equals negative 4, my statement is true. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve a one-step equation. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.